extremely quiet. If you didn't even hear the bubbles, you wouldn't even be able to hear this Alita 40 running. Dustin so today we're going to be installing the Alita AL40 this is recommended for 50 tanks but it all depends on different depths of what you have your tanks like some of mine are about six feet from the manifold so I'm gonna guesstimate it at probably 40 tanks just for the, the drop in the airline it has to go before it actually goes into the sponge filter or some of my tanks have both the sponge and the box filter. So the things I'll be needing to replace the Alita 15 is a 1 inch T, two 1 inch couplings, and 1 inch to uh, a nylon bar fitting which uh, I recommend you have uh, some Teflon tape wrapped around there and then to go into the barb and into the, the outlet on the actual pump I bought a one foot piece of uh, nylon or vinyl sorry vinyl um, tubing this was like uh, 95 cents from Farm the Fleet. Big up to my brother. I saw him while I was while I was there. You know, he come up to me and he knew it was something to do with the fish room, but he was still guessing because that was the previous video. So, what up, Rob? So, something else that I'll need. They did send these clamps here, but I just don't think they're they're strong enough. So, I will be using some hose clamps on on. Uh, at the end where it meets the, the nylon uh, barb and the outlet on the pump. So we'll go ahead and install that and we'll take out the, the T here and then uh, so we'll just cut it here and here and put the couplings on there and then throw up the uh, one inch T. So bear with me. It's kind of hard to see but on the left and the right we have the reducer down to three quarters so I will be cutting right next to the to the T here on both sides and then just removing that and I'll show you the size comparison of the 15 versus the 40. So sadly we're going to see the Alita 15 go away but with 25 and soon, I hope, to be more tanks, we're going to need the uh, Alita 40. So, Okay, so here is the side-by-side -side comparison. The, the 15 is still, I mean, it's, it's heavy, but it ain't, it ain't heavy like uh, the, uh, the 40. So it's definitely uh, just uh, the size difference and the hose like here's the new one here's the outlet on the on the old and there's the outlet on the new it's just massive so we got the old spot cut out and that's where the new spot will be for the Alita 40 it is in its spot I have to do some minor adjustments um, the hose fits great uh, if you do get this and you get this 5 8 inside diameter hose, make sure, make sure to put some, uh, uh, some water on the hose or something so it slides onto the outlet, uh, otherwise you're going to have a bear of a time. And this will go right into the fitting. I guess maybe I'll have the fitting come out a little or to the side. That's what I'll do is have it come to the side so that way it just attaches uh, simply right there to the barb. That way there's not too much torque on the line. And then we'll get the rest of it hooked up. Make sure to install your 
uh, hose clamps on first that way you don't forget them after you install the hose and then you have to take it apart and put your uh, clamps back on the other piece is just down here so let's get the rest of it put Small together this is a PVC cut and cleaned up and now we're just going to do a simple test fit just to make sure everything is where I want it so turns out we didn't need the the two couplings so those will get returned or I'll just keep them they're like 58 cents a piece and the two other pieces um, that I also will not need so that's great those these two other pieces are just P, pieces of PVC I cut to uh, uh, extend onto the coupling so all we will need is these two and this one so we'll go ahead and just put this piece of PVC on the end here simply a uh, housewife tight you don't need to be cranked on or nothing like that and then the barb put it to the a little bit to the side that's the way I'm going to do it so I have the least amount of, of uh, that may or may not kink on the uh, So I test fitted the pieces and now I will, I've already prepped them and I do a prep with no primer um, and use some rubbing alcohol to clean up the, the PVC and now I'm going to just simply install the cement on both sides of the T. And now we're going to place the T in. Here's a little tip for you with the PVC. If you need to, you can draw with a black Sharpie straight across here. So that way you know exactly where you want your, your fitting to be. And that way you can line them up as you're uh, waiting for your cement to dry. It is extremely quiet. If... You didn't even hear the bubbles. You wouldn't even be able to hear this Alita 40 running. I'm just blown away by the amount of power this pump has in it. I mean, yeah, I still have to install uh, six more tanks or 12 more and then hook these up. But this is going to be more than enough air for the time being. So. Thanks for again. Thanks again for uh, checking out the video, and keep watching. Thanks again. This is your fish friend Dustin.